we came together to start again, we were given a clean piece of paper. The first words we wrote on it were never again. After the tears came an opportunity, the chance to create the best football club we could imagine, one which would put a sustainable, long-term future ahead of short-term boom and bust glory. We had an untapped and undervalued resource, the people who sat in the stands. They formed teams, committees and boards, lawyers, accountants, bricklayers, historians, web developers, event organisers, business owners, social workers, badge sellers, flag wavers and bank managers. We built a club which is owned by its fans. We enshrined in our constitution that this club couldn't be asset stripped or stolen from under us. We put in layers of oversight and financial transparency, which has been applauded in a sport now fraught with questions and problems. We started to rebuild trust in the community in which we lived. We restored some pride. We've tried to give before we take. If we can look after the community, the town, its history and its future, it will also look after us. And whilst we currently share our hope, we've created a place for us all to come together, to share memories and moments, laughs and heartbreaks, all over again. If you've ever wondered what football would be like if it was run by people like you, then come down, get involved and fall in love with football all over again.